Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a steering wheel on a Ford EcoSport. First of all, got to remove the airbag that's situated in the middle of the steering wheel. As we have got an adjuster on the steering wheel, it's a bit more tricky for me to do it. But I'm just going to show you exactly what we have to do to remove it. It's a little bit difficult to see on the glass, but as you can see, there's a little hole slot just down there. And you can see the plastic bit that's locked onto the metal bit which you just got to push it down to unclip from the steering wheel on both sides and then you can be able to slot it out through those little holes as you can see this one here and that one there as you can see slots and hooks into these two so literally what you have to do is literally pop it away from it and it slots and then it slots straight through there and then we'll be able to take the bolt out from in there disconnect all the wires and refit the new one now we've released both of them literally should literally just pops out as you can see now all we have to do now is disconnect the plug plugs and literally this center star torque Now what we're going to do is, we're going to remove this little plug from the airbag itself. Which I normally just use like a little pick. Literally just to pop this little orange bit up. Try not to break it. As you can see, and then literally just pop it off. The next step is to disconnect these two wires. Key, that's linked to the horn. So we'll take that one off. Let you they should just pull off. That one's off. Next step is we're going to remove that plug just in there from the clock spring. As you can see, we don't need that plug because the new steering wheel comes with one in it already. Just need the one for the airbag. That's connected to the clock spring. Next step is to remove this T50 torque. Now, now we've loosened the T50, literally we just pull that out. Also make sure the clock spring doesn't turn when you take the steering wheel off. And just make sure we line the steering wheel back up correctly. As you can see that's the clock spring, the whole thing there. I'm gonna make sure it sits back inside the steering wheel properly. Okay, now I'll fit the steering wheel back on. You might need a, another person to help you to actually hold that clock spring in place to make sure it doesn't turn. As you can see, it slots into there and there and right there and in the corner there. So you'll probably get someone to hold it and then slot the steering wheel straight onto it. Make sure you line the steering wheel up. Now I'm gonna fit the bolt back. As you can see, you've got a little bit of Loctite on there just to make sure it doesn't turn. Now the next stage, as you can see, that's where the plug is located. Literally just plug this plug back in. must always say like literally when you're moving an airbag as well always disconnect the battery just in case the airbag deploys which should cause some serious harm not to you but just to other people as well that's around you yeah. all right now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the horn airbag now it literally just slots in as you can see done it yeah as you can see now I've literally reconnected the battery start the vehicle as you can see there's no lights on 
everything's all okay and in good working order. Thank you and thank you for watching GitHub Official. Please like and subscribe to my channel as this will help me out. Thank you.